Hi, I'm Tom Scholey, author of I Am Stan, a graphic biography of the legendary Stan Lee. You'll find a pre-order link in the show notes below. At that same link, you can also pre-order the soft cover edition of Jack Kirby, The Epic Life of the King of Comics. So this is Princess, a a creator-owned comic. Uh, you can you know download the full PDF from uh, my Patreon. Just go to patreon.com, search Tom Scholey, and if you join my Patreon, you'll have access to this and, and many other uh, of my comics works and also uh, access to, to new works as I post them there. So Princess is one I'm particularly proud of. It has not seen print yet, but uh, again, it, it, this this first issue is is available in PDF form. I started working on this after um, after Superpowers ended. This sort of you know sci-fi you know, superhero itch was something I, I I really just you know needed to scratch, and this 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 was the book to do it. So there is the, the title character, the princess, and so here's you know page one. Stop her! Give it up! They're right behind me. Welcome aboard. She's just one girl. Go. I told you to go. Not without you, Captain. And so the ship takes off. And, you know, she's evading capture. I, I was going all out with, you know, the spaceship designs here and just, um, you know, just really trying to make a beautiful sci-fi fairy tale superhero comic. Let me take the stick. You just sit tight. I've got this. And she goes into, uh, you know, hyperspace. Your only duty right now is to rest and recover. I plan to be on my feet before we get out of hyperspace. If you won't listen to Her Majesty, at least listen to your doctor. Is there anything else we can do, Auto Doc? I've done what I can. The rest is up to him. Wake me before you decide on a planet. Go to sleep. That's an order. Meepo, Meepo, Meepo. And there's Meepo, her little, uh, her little alien pet. Tap, tap, tap. And again, just, um, you know, creating like a different rhythm for, for the storytelling. And so she's got her staff and then she collapses it down into a little crystal that she carries with her. And the crystal is, you know, projecting photos of, of her childhood. I had just done superpowers um, and, and then that, that book ended. And so I still had a lot of stories I wanted to do about a, uh, you know, twin prince and princess, uh, you know, from another planet. And so uh, this was a way I could sort of, you know, take some of those stories that I wanted to tell and, and, and you know, take all those little bits and pieces uh, of, of stories I never got to tell and, and see if I could make something new out of it and, and sort of, you know, creating a new Arch archetypal hero and this sort of extreme close-up of these sort of, uh, you know, uh, bulbous, uh, you know, glistening eyes. If you can hear this message, princess, we want you to know we miss you. Come home and all will be forgiven. Don't make us come get you. So that's like a little sort of hologram that's being projected into hyperspace. A message from home. Don't worry, hyperspace messages can't hurt you. Meepo, meepo. No one's figured out how to do that yet. To anyone else who can hear this message and knows where she is, you will be generously rewarded for her return. Meepo, meepo. This, this might be the most beautifully rendered comic I've, I've ever made. Just the, the drawings are just really exquisite. I haven't looked at this in a while and I'm, I'm really liking it. There aren't many planets that won't be crawling with agents looking for us. Our only options are the distant outposts where we can trade for what we need. Captain, I found the perfect planet. And she thinks he's dead, but he's just sleeping. And there's the perfect planet. And there, this is something I always wanted to do. Like when, when you're on a plane and sometimes you can see the plane's shadow. So I like made, uh, you know, this sort of shadow on the clouds down below. Like I said, it was just, you know, it was just very beautiful. Like I was in the mood to, to make something beautiful. And, th and this is what came out. And, and, and I'm sort of letting the story sort of luxuriate to have some of these flourishes, these beautiful flourishes, like seeing, you know, her reflected in, in, the, in the glass as she's looking out the, out the window of the ship as it's landing. There's a settlement not far from here. 
You didn't consult me when you chose this planet. At least let me come with you. Meepo! Don't say it. I can see the answer in your eyes. Captain, I'm fine. Go on. We have this sort of bloody cough. Yeah, this guy's in bad shape. First sign of trouble, you come right on back. Meepo! Can I go with you? People tend not to notice me. Click, click. Next time, auto doc. And here, you know, uh, she's climbing out of the spaceship, you know, kind of, uh, you know, little close encounters, a little bit of Star Wars, you know, coming out of the hatch. She's got her, her staff. She's got her breathing apparatus. Walking through the forest. And she's surrounded by these rodents and she starts whoosh, 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 uh, swinging her staff around. And in the whoosh, whoosh, uh, as she's spinning it, she's seeing, you know, a holographic display of, of different uh, chemical analysis. And she's realizing that through that chemical analysis that, that she actually can breathe this air. She, so she takes off her mask. And she sees some lights in there. There she is at a highway with cars passing by. And then one of the cars stops. You've been out hunting? He means that rifle. And a, a, a van pulls up with a, an airbrushed sign, you know, the barbarians with a barbarian holding a, an ax guitar and a white tiger. You want to ride or what? She holds the crystal to her neck and it's able to speak a, a language that they understand. There's a settlement nearby. So the planet she's landed on is Earth. Sure, we could take you into town. We're headed there too. We got a gig tonight. You hear of us? And her you know, standard <laughs> reply is just a blink. You're not from around here, are you? And so they're you know, playing their instruments in, inside the van. And there's some kind of, uh, you know, monsters, kind of like hot rod following them. You might not want to go into town waving that around. You should check out our show. We'll put you on the list. So she keeps her sort of space rifle uh, covered up. She sees, it, she sees the bakery window. Good morning. I want to trade for food. Again, she's holding this crystal up to her neck and it's, you know, translating her words into something that, you know, these people will understand. What would you like? One of each, the total comes to 8150. You know, you got you gotta buy a lot of baked goods uh, to, to you know to you know ring up that kind of total. Here you go. Take it out of these. I I'm sorry, dear, my boss is way behind the times. Cash only. The lady's assuming this is some kind of new, you know, high tech way to pay that she hasn't heard of yet. Instant cash. So she goes to an instant cash place. Pawn shop. We buy gold, instant cash. And she walks inside and there's, you know, some interesting things on display and uh, walks up to the proprietor. I'm here to trade for cash. That crystal thing looks interesting. Is it for sale? And she's not quite ready to sell that crystal yet, but this rifle, you know, she's ready to part with it if it means, you know, getting the things she needs to, to you know, help them get off the planet, including, including food. How much for that? Bounty hunters are scouring the galaxy. Finding her could take hours or decades. Any ideas? I suggest we lure her out of hiding. Get something she holds dear and she'll come to us. Something or someone. Meepo! You were supposed to stay back at the Stardust. Boom. Meepo. Meepo! How did you find me? Of all the stars and planets, how did you know I'd come here? Every bounty hunter is a gambler. We could have looked in the obvious places like everybody else. Me and my crew bet on a long shot and got lucky. Only thing left to do is figure out how to split you up four ways. So these are the bounty hunters. Again, just trying to have like some fun with the designs and, and you know, going for like a new aesthetic and, and whoosh, 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 she's spinning her staff. Everybody's getting ready for the big throwdown. Jumps in the air, cracks one of them on the head. 
They're just having some fun with the fight choreography, you know, bringing in sort of a little more of a manga influence. So yeah, I was working on this, I was working on this after Superpowers, but uh, before GoBots, I guess. I guess it was Superpowers, Princess, GoBots, Jack Kirby. And so now she's getting ready to square off with this guy. Zap, 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 zap. She's blocking all his shots with her staff. And then, you know, puts her staff right through him. Lands in a blaze of glory. Kind of in, savors the victory for a moment, but then remembers what she's lost. Meepo. She goes back home empty-handed. Couldn't find Meepo anywhere. Meepo's gone. Look behind you. We've got a stowaway. I thought I'd lost you. You need to see this. And we cut back to her brother and what he's doing. You could end this nightmare right now. Just tell us. Where is that poor girl? You don't scare me. That's good. There's no reason to fear me. She's gone, and there's nothing any of us can do to bring her back. But what we can do is punish the perpetrator of this horrible crime. We have some good news. We have her murderer in custody. The prince is hereby accused of the murder of his own twin sister. And so this is what they were watching, the hologram of, of the trial of her brother, uh, falsely accused of her murder. And the only evidence in his defense would, would be her, you know, if she could show up in the courtroom. And that's, that's exactly what this whole farce of a trial is designed to do, to, to draw her out of hiding. I'll go back. If they see I'm alive, they'll have to let him go. That's what they want. They're trying to lure you back. And that's, uh, that's the story of Princess so far. Pretty great start to a story, and, you know, it's something I'd be happy to return to. Um, you know, uh, if anybody out there is interested in publishing it, uh, you know, I, I'd be happy to partner up with somebody uh, to publish it. Um, if not, you know, maybe I can, maybe I can do the crowdfunding thing. But anyway, I just, I just wanted to, sh I'm so proud of this uh, particular, you know, piece of work, and, and it's, it's never been printed anywhere, uh, and so, um, you know, but I'm, I'm sharing it with you and, and sharing the PDF with anybody who um, subscribes to my Patreon. So please, you know, go to patreon.com, search Tom Scholey to download this PDF, among others, and, and to sort of, you know, keep up with, you know, various comics as I work on them. And please uh, pre-order... I am Stan, a graphic biography of the legendary Stan Lee. You'll find the pre-order link in the show notes below. And um, at that same link, you can also pre-order the soft cover edition of Jack Kirby, The Epic Life of the King of Comics. I'll see you next time.